Celebrities from film, television, music, comedy, and sports have converged on the grand ballroom of the Gold House in downtown Louisville for the Unbridled Eve Derby Gala. That's where we find Shaquille Lord. Shaquille, who are the celebrities there tonight? Man, there were so many celebrities, Rick and Vicky. I can tell you this. Once we got done talking to actor Mario Lopez, who some of you may know as Slater from Save the Bell, he literally got next to the media and started taking pictures of his wife, who was slaying it on the red carpet, too, by the way. Now, you can hear the music in the background. Folks have been bumping for the past hour or so. We even heard from J.D. Shelburne, who is from Kentucky. But I can tell you, speaking with everybody who came on this red carpet today, they say they've been excited to attend the Unbridled Eve Gala, especially since it's been on hiatus for the past two years because of the pandemic. Party like it's 2019, and that's literally our tagline for this year. And, and we all, I think, have a much deeper appreciation. We've always had an appreciation, but now it really underscores that we need to live every minute with full impact. And so with our charities, our guests, our Derby family, we're thrilled to be here. So there's a special type of style when it comes to Kentucky Derby. Uh, she put on a hat earlier, and she said, do, do I look silly? I said, well, you're supposed to look silly, okay? <laughs> that's the Kentucky Derby for you. So I got to ask, are the outfits chosen already for tomorrow? The outfits are chosen. Uh, we're not will you be wearing a hat? Like, like I will be wearing a hat, but her hat will be much better than mine. She's going to be the star of the show. How does it feel, it being back, I mean, after two years because of the pandemic? It's exciting, right? We want to see good races tomorrow and obviously have a good time tonight. <laughs> How excited are you to be in Louisville this week? We're excited. We're excited uh, to be away from the kids for a weekend. We're excited to get to dress up, have some mint juleps, and... Um, you know, have a good time, just mom and dad. You know, I love the fact that, you know, it's all about giving tonight. Um, who knows, maybe I'll make some good bets on some beautiful auction prizes here to be won to give back. And, you know, it's just such a celebration. It's so wonderful. Obviously, seeing, seeing the celebrities and the outfits, that's cool. But this benefits blessings in a backpack, which helps children. How cool is that? Um, it's amazing. Um, you know, someone for me who I was originally born in Sudan, and, you know, there's a lot of people who, had a hand and helped me get to, you know, my place and different foundations and people giving. So whenever it's something that's involved giving, especially the children, man, I, you know, they always say they're the foundation of things. And again, Unbridled Eve, it really helps out charities, not just here in Louisville, but throughout the country. And again, Blessings in a Backpack is a big one. Now, they are in 46 states, and I can tell you that uh, the reason why it's so neat is because some kids don't have access to food on the weekends. Now, this gala is in its ninth year. They've raised more than a million dollars to help Blessings in a Backpack. So yes, the outfits, seeing the celebrities is all good, but obviously this is what the founders wanted it to mean. They wanted it to help out other folks in need, and in this case, children and so many other charities. But for right now, reporting live at the Gold House, I'm Shaquille Lord, WLKY News.